You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're going to continue where we left off in Marina Lear's point of view. Let us proceed, shall we? Marina managed to fly while Gloria held on. But Gloria could not help but say, Wow, it's so... Wow, it's so beautiful. I can see the sky and maybe I can touch it. Ah, oh, see, si, senorita, it is a wonderful feeling to fly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Gloria couldn't help but used one hand while gripping on to Marina and pretended that she moved her hand a bit to the wind. Then she managed to clutch on back without choking Marina. Marina laughed. <laughs> You must really enjoy yourself. This is so cool. Ah, yes. It's one of my favorites. So, where to? Would you like to see the wonders of Evermore? Well, I was thinking about that. But I was wondering, can you take me back to the church? Church? Yes. It's, um... It's the one where Holland is. Ooh, show us, show me, Marina said. They managed to get to the church where Gloria works at. There was Holland, pacing. He was muttering to himself. The reverend is going to be so angry. Where on earth is she? Gloria said, brother, over here. Where have you been? I was worried. I'm sorry. I couldn't get away because of all the townspeople. Oh, that. Sorry. No, it's fine. They were praising Mom. I mean, she was a saint, wasn't she? Yeah. How in the world did you... But then he noticed Marina and the others waving. Holland sighed. I should have guessed. Oh, my apologies. I did not mean to feel a bit to concern you, but I managed to help your sister. Gloria nodded. Yes, brother. Look, I know you don't trust outsiders, but she helped me out. Please, just give her a chance. Gloria said. Holland sighed. All right, fine. But... I'm going to have to talk to the Reverend. He's not upset with you. Thank God for that. But he was just worried about you. He thinks of you as his daughter. I know. I didn't mean to worry him. Come on in. He wants to speak to you about something. Sure. Um... Would you excuse me for a moment? Gloria asked. Yeah, sure, Marina said. Thank you. Or, in better terms, <laughs> uh, gracias? Yes, de nada. Go, 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 go. Vamos. <laughs> so Gloria went in following her brother. However, Holland turned and said, Hey, what are you all standing out here for? That made Marina scared. Well, if you want us to leave, we can. But um, we wanted to take her to Evermore. But if you don't want that, it's fine. But why would you stand out here? Come on inside. Perhaps maybe the staff will give you some refreshments. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Marina said enthusiastically. She spoke some Spanish phrases, which means wonderful, amazing, great. Holland pretty much took Spanish back in the days, so he pretty much knew what she said. The others were really enjoying themselves. They were really liking how the architect in the church was. I must say, this is quite an art. 
Yes, it looks like a masterpiece. But it is also here for praise, but I can't help but notice who would design such a wonderful architect. That's when Marina noticed a beautiful light of rainbow coming from there. She took a closer look and stared at what it was. It was a jewel. A beautiful opal jewel. Oh, how beautiful. She was about to put her hand on the glass when someone grabbed her wrist. Marina yelped and looked up to see a tall man hunched over. He had dark skin and sp spectacles. He then said in a tone where he was a bit stuttering on his part saying, you, you do, do, do not touch that. How d d dare you? Did you not read the sa- he pointed over. Marina looked at the sign that said, Warning, do not place hand on glass. Marina reacted. Oh, I'm sorry. I- You should know better by now. It is sin to do this, the young man said. Holland's voice roared. Gideon, what on earth are you doing to our guests? Guess? I- I didn't know, I... Take your hands off Marina Lear. The guy, Gideon, looked down at Marina. Marina glared back. Gideon had a bit of a perverted smile on his face. You don't say. The agent of Evermore. I... I can't believe it! How w w wonderful! He managed to say through his stuttering. Marina cocked her head. What with all the st 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 stuttering, buddy? Do not mock me! Gideon managed to say through his D's even though it was hard to stutter. He looked up at Holland. Oh, Holland, I swear I d d d didn't know better, but I w w will know better next time, he said. You better. The Reverend wants to see you. He says it's something important, Holland said. Yes, of course. We'll meet again, Marina Lear, he said. And with that, he was gone. Marina shuddered. Then she said, Hey, senor, do you have any hand sanitizer? Why? Because I feel like I want to wash the slime off me from him. Holland looked a bit uptight about that comment. But he managed to say, Hmm, sure. He pulls out a bottle. Marina almost cracked up. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, if you insist. She pumped the sanitizer until she got a few droplets on her hands. She washed her hands immediately, especially around the wrist area. Holland managed to say, Forgive him. He's... He's quite an eccentric. People aren't too fond of him. Why do you say that? Marina asked. Yes, hun. What do you mean by that, sweetie? Nathan had to ask because he may work here, but he doesn't exactly believe in our teachings. We're not really a cult, but I believe that this whole area changed ever since we had that reverend for a long time. I remember when my mother used to run here, but 
He trailed off. He looked a little sad. The thought of his own mother must have hit him hard. Marina felt bad. Senor, if I could give you my best compensation, I would... No, please. I know you're kind, but I really don't need anything. No, senor. I know how it feels to lose a parent. I lost my father when I was a little girl, and my mother had to take care of me. She was a widow. Holland nodded. Yeah, but here's a difference. I don't even know what happened to my own father. He left her. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I never really remember him much. Neither did my sister. But yet she's, she's still talking about him. Like he's the best thing in the world when he's not. How could he leave mom to die like that? How could he do this to us? I could never really forgive him for that. But I was told here once that forgiveness is divine, isn't it? Holland asked. Well, yes, it is. Even though I can't let anyone know this, because when I was a child, I used to ask a lot of questions, and people would reprimand me for speaking such words. So I managed to keep my mouth shut. But the only question is, how come I can't even know where he is? And how come he never came to mom's funeral? That's something that really bothers me. Holland managed to say, I don't know, senor. I've never been through that before, but I can reassure you. I hope and pray that maybe just maybe, you do not go through this again. Maybe someday you can, I, I don't know, like, become a better person. I guess. I want my sister and Chris to be happy. Chris? Who is this Chris? A uh, childhood friend of ours. But more like childhood sweethearts to Gloria and Chris. I know the church wouldn't really approve of those two hanging around. They would really disapprove, but to me, I find that those two deserve each other. I mean, who was the one that rescued that boy? Tell me that. It was her. Holland couldn't help but smile a bit. Marina felt her heart skip. His smile, even though his scowls seemed to be a very serious man or something of an eagle. However, when he smiled, for some reason, he had a bit of, of kindness to him. Holland said, even though Chris and I have grown up, i never forgotten those memories. Picnics in the attic, hearing that violin play. Her mother was not just a saint, but she was also a singer and a musician. And that's why they made Gloria into their new singer. I really miss those days. I just wish things used to be like they were. I'm sure they will, senor. I'm sure, Marina said. That's it for now, but don't worry. We got more coming your way. I'm Captain Donovan, and I'll see you next time. Bye.